A clue, a clue. You see our last clue? Here and at these haunted towers? Where? Oh, there is a clue. And it's on these. Triangles. Triangles are our last clue. Hey guys, we found the third clue. That's great. We'll let you and Delmore draw it. Alright, I'll go first. Let's draw one triangle here. And another one, right here. There, triangles. Okay, now Elmo. So Elmo will draw one triangle. And another one, right here. There, triangles. Hey, that was the last clue. We have all three clues to figure out who's in the ghost costume. We're ready to sit in our... Thinking chair! Thinking chair. Come on. Now that we're in our thinking chair, let's think. So, who could be in the ghost costume, with paw prints? A tail. And, triangles. Well, one thing I know of, is that these paw prints, and this tail, are from certain animals. Oh, and certain animals, have triangles like these, for their ears. So, maybe whoever's in the ghost costume, is some sort of animal. But what animal, makes paw prints like these, has a tail like this, and has triangles, for their ears? A cat. A cat. A cat, yeah. A kitten. A kitten is an animal, that has a curvy tail, they have triangles for their ears, and, they make these little paw prints. The ghost, is a kitten. We just figured out Spot's clues. 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 Because we're really smart. So that's who's in the ghost costume. There's a cat in that costume. That's right. That's who's in the ghost costume. A kitten. And I may know exactly who that kitten is. Come on. <laughs>